Yeah, that's a long note. My goodness. So, it is New Year's Eve day. So we are going to end 2022 on a good note. Good positive note. We are spending quality family time. Because family time is important. No matter when you're together. So, I used to tell my kids when we were divorced and we would have to split time with the kids that holidays are whenever you're together. So, you know, because sometimes Christmas would land and they would be with their dad. Sometimes they'd be with me, whatever. And they'd be like, oh, well, we're not going to be with you. And I'd be like, you know what? But you're going to be with me the next day. So that's when Christmas is for us. You know, I'm like, so to me, holidays, whatever, whatever, those are just whenever you're together. It doesn't have to fall on the calendar. It doesn't have to fall on the exact day. But when you are together, you need to make the best of it. And so the twins are 14 and a half. Oh, don't worry. Probably by next year at this time, they probably won't even want to hang out with us. Because they'll be like, oh, I have a girlfriend. I'll force them to hang out. And, they, they're, and, and my girlfriend's mom is going to take us to the movies. <laughs> chaperones. Well, at least that's what we better hear. Yes. Not like, oh, my girlfriend's mom's going to drop us off. <laughs> no. 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 You're not being dropped off and left alone. No. <laughs> we know what happens when you're teenagers and you're left alone. Yeah. Does she not be coming back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, but not that soon. My goodness. So, anyways, uh, I gave uh, the twins one of their presents uh, was a gift card to the Andretti Racing Place over here in Katy, Texas. So it's about 40 minutes away from our house. So we are in the Bintelay, and we are headed towards the racing facilities. It's an indoor golf cart, not golf cart. Golf cart. <laughs> Can you imagine racing golf carts? I could actually. That would be probably roll, roll. That'd be pretty fun. Big school stadium there. Um, but anyways, we're headed there. Don't know if I'm going to actually get in a go kart. But you will get in. No, that is a big stadium. I haven't been in a go kart for a long, long time. I don't even know if I remember how to. Is it like a bumper car? No. No. You literally have a gas pedal and a brake pedal, and you just drive. It's like a car that you race, but you can also hit into it. Not necessarily, because you can get in trouble for that. Okay, Zane. That's why you get hurt all the time on your skateboard, too, because everything is like balls to the walls for Zane. <laughs> yes. He does not know medium speed. No, he's my daredevil. So, anyways, come along with us and spend the day with us doing family time. I don't know what we're going to do tonight. We'll just get dressed up and, you know, go to the living room and have fun. <laughs> Make cocktail. our own little party. Pour, pour a cocktail. Yes. Yeah, or tea. Yes. But remember, we're going to wake up tomorrow feeling fantastic and great and not be hungover and not drag nastiness into our new year. We're going to welcome tomorrow with open arms and it'll be fresh new start to a fresh new year to fresh new beginnings that was a lot of fresh. lot of freshes a lot of fresh a lot of fresh that's what we're all about new starts new beginnings new everything so let's go have some fun oh looky here we're here we're here we're here okay we need to go check it out. Race, eat, play, and drink. Hmm, I wonder if I get a Bloody Mary. Hmm. <laughs> no drinking and driving. <laughs> Who says I'm going to drive a go-kart? Oh, no, you're driving a go-kart. Mm, I am, you're We're, we're going to you see. Are. Okay. Want to go stand by? Were you allowed to ride that? Me? Okay, I said that. I'm going to take a picture.
Holy smokes. Got a lot going on over here. Places to eat, places to play. Holy smokes. Okay, we have to go to the starting line. Okay, we need to go. Holy cow. Here comes Zach. Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Got to take the lead. Come on, go, 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 go. Go on the road, guys. Come on. <laughs> on the road. Oh, my God. This is a crazy place. Crazy. So they got so many different levels. So they've got the little tiny level for the little tiny kids. And then they've got the green level for adults, goes way fast, that's like up there, and then you've got the blue level, which is where the twins are at right now, which is over here, they're done. oh they're done, you're enjoying today's video over the weekend we lost an icon barbara walters i mean if you didn't know who barbara walters was you were living under a rock i swear because she was an icon she was a pioneer i mean she she was everything i i remember watching her even as a little girl uh doing these amazing interviews with all of these amazing people and i'm like golly She's so good. She's so amazing. But you know what? Something stuck with me um, when they were going through her life and her life story. Um, something was stuck with me, and it it relates back to family. You know, she was um, talking to one of her friends, and her friend was talking to Barbara about, "Oh my God, you're so amazing! Look what you've done in your career. You're so rich with knowledge and." all these people you know and interviews and Barbara Walters looked at her and said no you're the rich one you have four children you have family you have a life that 
I never had. And the friend was like, what do you mean? I'm like, I, you have the life I will never have. And Barbara was like, you don't understand. I, I love what I do, but you are so rich with family and everything. And, and, and Barbara Walters even commented that she could have never had that life because it wasn't in her genes. Like, I think she had one daughter. And, and she was just like, I could have never had more kids. I mean, it just wasn't who I was. You know, she was more of a career kind of person, and that's okay. You know, I mean, it's okay to have these moms that want to be stay-at-home moms, homeschool their kids, and just be these amazing moms. And then you have these moms over here, and I put myself in that category. I was more interested in a career, and um, that, that was my genre, you know. But it doesn't make me any less of a mom just because I don't want to devote or didn't want to devote or whatever, you know, 24 seven. I mean like, hallelujah to the women that can like not work and stay at home and do the goo goo gaga and, and raise their kids and, and homeschool their kids and just be the PTA moms and all that. I mean like, that wasn't me, you know, but, but that doesn't make me any less of a mom. And so, you know, it just, today's video is all about family and how important family is. And whether you're a workaholic mom like me, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, no, but, but I mean, it, it just, it brought it all back home to me when I watched on New Year's Day, this, th them talking about Barbara Walters and her life and her legacy and how she paved the way for so many women in the news world. It is it just she she broke down barriers and she was a one of a kind and there's so many women thankful for her paving the way for them so anyways I just I, it was just that's part of my motivational Monday is just you know family is everything and I, and I kind of used to make fun of the Kardashians when they would rally around each other to protect each other and then I was kind of like but you know what that's what family is all about family is protecting each other and having each other's back and being there for each other. Um, even though sometimes you have the disagreements and you don't see eye to eye. Um, and sometimes you have to distance yourself from one of your family members when they become extremely toxic. And that's okay too. But at the end of the day, it's, it's all about family. And, you know, we, we just have to remember that. So anyways, let's get on with today's updates on the barn. I think we're only a couple more weeks away before she's going to be able to move downstairs. So then the upstairs will just be the boys. The boys' two bedrooms and their big family room, game room, and their small little kitchen area and all that, and then she'll be downstairs. So they're saying a couple more weeks, so we'll see. So let's get into seeing some today's updates.
So to the rude individual, that's what I'm going to call you, um, that wanted to post something about all of my motivational Mondays are the same, they're boring, you know, you need to move along. That's all I got to say about that. Anyways, saw something interesting come on my, my next door neighbor thing that I have, this app. And this is so true, and you guys need to remember this. So if you don't remember anything about today's video, it's this. Um... Barely the day started and it's already six in the evening. Barely arrived on Monday and it's already Friday. And the month is already over and the year is almost over. And already 40, 50, or 60 years of our lives have passed. And we realize that we lost our parents and our friends. And we realize it's too late to go back. So let's try, despite everything, to enjoy the remaining time. Let's keep looking for activities that we like. Let's put some color in our gray hair. Let's smile at the little things in life that put calm in our hearts. And despite everything, we must continue to enjoy the serenity this time we have left. Let's try to eliminate afters. I'm doing it after. I'll say after. I'll think about it after. We leave everything for later like after is ours. Because what we don't understand is this. Afterwards, the coffee gets cold. Afterwards, priorities change. Afterwards, the charm is broken. Afterwards, health passes. Afterwards, the kids grow up. Afterwards, parents get old. Afterwards, promises are forgotten. Afterwards, the day becomes the night. Afterwards, life ends. And then it's often too late. So, let's leave nothing for later because still waiting, because still waiting, see you later, we can lose the best moments, the best experiences, the best friends, and the best family. The day is today. The moment is now. We no longer are at the age where we can afford to postpone what needs to be done right away. Amen. Amen. So guys, just, you know, family, time, you know, if, if you all think that my motivational Mondays are just the same and they're always boring, then apparently you're not listening to the motivational Mondays to get the message because they are always different. We're always talking about different things and there's different subject topics. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, uh, I don't know how many times I've listened to Oprah Winfrey talk about her weight issues or her child abuse issues that she dealt with as a younger child, but she still talks about them. Now, does somebody go, oh my God, Oprah, you're talking about the same thing again. Mm. So anyways, guys, I just needed to share some of this today. I just, uh, you know, between spending time with my grandkids and my daughter and having a fantastic day on, on New Year's Eve day having fun at that adventure park, uh, to spending it on New Year's Eve here at the house, shooting off fireworks, to just hanging out New Year's Day, relaxing, watching movies, just, you know, everything about Barbara Walters. It just, it just reminds you that life is so short. We just have to enjoy each and every moment that we have with family, with friends. And like I've said, Family is not always your family. Sometimes family is your friends. And so just get out there, make those connections. You know, the one thing that, that COVID did was COVID distanced all of us. You know, Fashion Woodlands was the first event that I held since before COVID. And it was just like, I, I just kept thinking, oh, I can't have an event yet. It's still COVID. Oh, I can't, I'm supposed to not be in groups. I'm not supposed to be in gatherings. And the one thing that COVID did was tear us all apart and distance us. And, and we really need to figure out how to get back together again. 
We really do because we all need each other. We need each other more than ever, ever, ever before. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got the message in today's video. I hope you liked some of the updates. I hope you liked watching the twins. I just hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to be putting a lot, a lot of content out there this year. Um, we just, you know, yes, the barn dominium is coming to an end, hopefully in a couple weeks or so, but we're always going to have stuff built. We're always going to be changing things. Believe me, life goes on and it's still going to be interesting and there's going to be new and exciting stuff on this channel. Watch and see. So with that said, guys, I love you. I love you. Thank you for being a follower and a fan for all of these years. Some of you have been with me when I only had 10,000 followers and we have grown. And I know some of you are like, I don't know why you don't have a million followers already. I don't either, you know, but it's like my grandkids told me the other day, grandma, there's more kids on YouTube than there are adults. So sometimes when you wonder why those little channels, and I don't say little, the big channels that have so many followers, like 17 million, if like, like I've got a neighbor, unspeakable. Um, and his, his channel is geared towards little kids, like five-year-olds to 10-year-olds. Like, and he's, he's got 17 million followers because these little kids love the entertainment that he provides. And, you know, good for him. I'm not going to be that person. That's not my niche. That's not my forte. I don't enjoy pulling pranks and, and looking like an idiot on YouTube. That, but some people do, and that's good for them. Good for them. Like my grandkids, you know, they're 14 and they're like, Grandma, we don't even watch that. So it makes me feel good. So anyways, love you guys. Happy New Year. I'm glad all of you came through the new year safe and sound and looking forward to listening to what all of your goals are in this new year. Because remember, we don't do New Year's resolutions. We set goals. Mm -hmm. We set goals. Get you a whiteboard. Get those goals on that whiteboard. Maybe put some time frames beside those goals so that you can maybe try to hit those goals. But don't do a New Year's resolution where, oh, I'm going to join a gym. And then in February, you've already lost interest in joining the gym and losing weight. And just, you know, just get a whiteboard, even a little one. They make them. Go to the container store. Go to Walmart. They've got little tiny whiteboards. And put some goals on there for 2023. And let's try to hit those goals, guys. You know you can do it. I'm your biggest fan. So with that said, guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let's have fun in 2023. Bye-bye.